Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Here's the elevator, but they ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. Aside from you. You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? I... 
I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Aside from the bids I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me. Something information related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe. Yeah. 
Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing Raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjustments. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No. I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you.
two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram! Hiram, are you there? without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learn nothing while dealing with these buffoons could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot.
lot of fools try to impress me, feigning bravado in the water. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful... I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipiller, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Normally, I'd find this kind of talk from you quite invigorating. But this is a difficult moment for me. Still, perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. Excellent. At last, we have what we need. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. I'm afraid we've got to fight them. They'd knock our walls down trying to get that module. It looks like this means... war. Ooh, I just got goosebumps! You really know how to sell that, don't you? Maybe you could, uh, teach me how you do that. Sir, I doubt this is the time. Right. I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Good luck.
You're back. <laughs> and in one piece. <laughs> Does this mean you? I, I mean we won? We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it. Not that I'm really surprised, but... Well, maybe a little. You did it. I mean, we did it. Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest... Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. What can I do for you? Quite well, actually. It's astounding how much our quality of life has improved without Graham's lunatics breathing down our necks. Our residents are reporting increased productivity during their shifts and improved satisfaction in their leisure time. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to.